I see a lot of students pull their cart up to the side of the green, grab a golf club or two, walk to their ball. They've gathered no information, they have no plan, and they probably have the wrong club. So after I've chosen my club using my three club system, I'm going to go over to the halfway point between the ball and the hole, gather some information, visualize trajectory, landing, spot, and roll, and then come to my golf ball with some information and a plan and the right golf club. Here I've chosen two of the three clubs from my system, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to use until I get to the golf ball. If you have indecision as to whether to use a seven iron to chip perhaps, or a pitching wedge to loft, lofted chip, always choose a club that has more loft. If you choose a club that has the lesser amount of loft, you might try to add loft to it. By choosing the club that has more loft, you can give some loft back. It's always better to give loft back than it is to try to add it on. So I've got a landing spot in mind. I've chosen a, an old cup that was cut uh, halfway between myself and the hole. I'm going to take my pitching wedge and hit a lofted chip. My stance is narrow and slightly open. The ball is back in my stance near the inside of my right foot. I'm going to choke the handle, lean it forward, put about 70% of my weight into my left side take a couple of rehearsal swings, and I'm gonna base the length of my rehearsal swing on my landing spot, not on where the hole is. Step into the shot, get myself set, and think about duplicating that practice stroke. I find myself in a little bit of a different situation here. I've got a little more air time to cover between ball and landing spot. I've got a little less ground time between landing spot and the flag itself. And I'm a little bit below the surface of the green. But once again, I've chosen a couple of clubs from my three club system. I've gone to the side, viewed trajectory, landing spot, and roll. And I have a plan in mind. Because I've lost sight of the, uh, the mark that I chose from the side, I'm gonna try to fly the ball to the front edge of this bunker, which is my landmark and my new landing spot. I'm going to decide between these two golf clubs once again. The uh, pitching wedge is for a lofted chip. The lob wedge is for a low pitch. In this situation, I'm gonna choose the club with more loft and give a little bit of the loft back. I'm gonna try to fly the ball about 60% of the distance and let it roll the latter 40. Once again, I take a couple of practice strokes based on my landing spot or the landmark on the side of the green. I step into the shot, play it off my back foot on the inside of my right heel, lean the handle forward, take a little bit of the loft off, slide my hips and my body left so that about 70% of my weight is there. Get into the habit of walking from your golf bag to a point halfway between the ball and the hole. View the shot from the side. Visualize trajectory, landing, spot, and roll. Don't go from your golf bag or your golf cart directly to the ball. Gather some information, have a plan in mind, and then come to the golf ball itself, rehearse it, and execute the shot. Walk to halfway point between ball and hole before going to ball. Visualize trajectory, landing spot, and roll. Pick landing spot on green or a landmark off the green if necessary. 